All right, everybody, we're back with Corpse Party. So, I looked up several things. I was like, how am I supposed to not look at the poster in 3A for the good ending? Because I never went into 3A. And uh, it turns out you need to... Hold on, I'm looking... Something, I got a stupid spam call. Um, so I looked up a video, and it's like you have to go back to the staircase where the guy said, wait, and there's a little ghost here. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Oh, that sounds nice. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Ugh, why did I have to die like that? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, hello? Unknown key. The key to some unknown lock has the classic key shape. <laughs> Suggests it's rather old. It will feel the pain of death forever. Best not to think about that now. So yeah, I just replayed through the whole chapter, and you know, again, didn't go into 3A, because it's like, don't look at the poster, but 3A is locked, so how would I not not look at it anyway? Um, but I guess I have to go into the room, and then don't look at it. Let me save this first. Assume 3A, the door is locked. The unknown key seems to fit it. So I'm still looking at the guy. Oof. Hmm? Naomi, what's wrong? I don't know. It's like... My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a pretty bad feeling about this room. No, trust me, it'll be just fine. I mean, it's just, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure just waiting to uh, be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? Enter. So we are supposed to go inside. Okay. Another dead body. Now, a message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Okay, whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. Yeah, I think we should just leave. I don't know, I'm a little curious. Yeah, no, I'm not looking at that. Moving on. All right, let's cut here. The four minute mark, and then we will continue on. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, Seiko, let's give this another try. Bucket falls, doesn't work. Why would you hang yourself? God damn it. All right, you want to be funny? Let's be funny. I'm going to read the newspaper, and we're going to see what's going on. All the things said, don't read the newspaper. Now I'm going to read it. Heavenly Host, breaking news, serial kidnapper ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, the numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as most likely as the most likely explanation. Now, now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973, around 7 o'clock p.m., which is related to that spooky story. Authorities further reveal that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed, blank, uh, something, mutilations far too grotesque, 
and something to describe and disturbing to describe i'm sure page is torn from this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found how awful i think i heard about this though once before not me but i guess it did happen here before we were born so i shouldn't be too surprised slam oh boy is that us being locked in here the door to fix won't open you do do not look at the newspaper unlit candle heavenly host po heavenly post you will never leave this room riveting now oh, the skeleton's crying no way out what do we do what indeed oh, what do you mean Just never mind oh the door is opened man that scared the crap out of me Ugh. hold up hold up oh no it's gone what is the paper doll scrap I got from a Yumi? Oh, the charm? Mine's still in my student ID holder. Crap, I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I kept telling you you need to put things away before they get lost. Maybe we might need that. Now I'm sad. Too sad. Too bad. So sad. Go home. Tell dad. Now, was this the proper save? Or we could just go lay down? Yes, okay. Laying down. Again. Hope you guys like this boss fight. <laughs> Isn't it so cute how we, like, uh, I lubed up my ass with some cream or something? Or keep your ass there? Because I, like, Seiko loves ass, apparently. Okay. So, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't open. I'm going to walk over here just out of frame so the door can change sprites. I'm going to go out. My head hurts. going to walk back. There is now hair all over the door, which is absolutely disgusting. And a concept I feel like is not shown much in horror movies is, like, just hair as, a, like, an aspect. Uh, spooky ghost. Run over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't work. Fire. Fire doesn't work. Oh, get away, ghost. Yeah, hee 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 ha ha ha. Yes, give me the rubbing alcohol. Thank you. Faked you out, ghost. You're stupid. Okay, burn it up. Whoosh. Out of here. Oh, wait, whoa. is different oh Seiko what happened are you okay why does why is it that me reading a ghost newspaper changes the story like this I mean I guess we're gonna find out but very annoying sorry for the mess what are you talking about don't apologize for barfing you poor girl bleh Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. You mean to rub your back? Oof. I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Huh? Looks like we really are the only two people here. The only two living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. 
It's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess I better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But where are we supposed to go? Hmm, well. We've been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. Here I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class 2 Niners never say die, right? We're invincible. We got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, uh, what do you say I go get our bikes fixed? Sounds like a plan, right? If we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't keep, seem to hold back. Naomi, are you like super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? Uh, huh? You just keep smiling and laughing. Do I? Tell me. How long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought of all? We figured out some. We'll figure out something. That's a crock, and you know it. Must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more on my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirits up till the better end, but just like that, I was berating her, abusing her, and I had running through my head. Oh, well, I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally and couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can. Whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to... So do you, so you do you, yeah so you do you just want to so you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi, sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you and everyone else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. Hold on. I need to look this up before I mess it up. Oh my god, I swear to Christ. I'm sorry. Seiko, I, I'm so... I, I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. I'd heard her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Seiko was just a little too bright for me. So bright that it hurt. And so, 
and the nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed. Two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favors of being trapped together in this unforgiving place were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequences of that heated exchange were far more dire than I could have ever imagined. I hate Seiko. Oh, she's all sad. That jerk. Okay, well, this is new. I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice. Oh. 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 Like, what are these? I don't want to be doing all these choices and it lead to nothing, but I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, let's follow the voice. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I'd been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my mentality distraught state, I ran through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name over and over again. Strangely, I have no memory of where I was during the... Okay, so this is very similar. I was in a daze. They're on corners when I, I woke up on the third floor hallway. Seiko! me out okay who's ready for another disturbing scene again that's you know was it fourth or fifth time is the try i mean real uh, within recordings like what's actually going to be shown is like fourth or fifth time but i've done this like 10 times all right very scary sorry that the momentum has fallen here oops sorry seiko i'm gonna run out this way get the you get the meat bucket dump it out Seiko, I'm here. Bucket falls. Why would you do this? I want to apologize to you for what I said. Until just a few hours before, I thought laughing and playing in school was with my best fr I was playing and laughing in school with my best friend. Now here she was right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept, accept that reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't be. Continued in Chapter 2. Alright, Christ, holy God, like, we finally did it. Continued in Chapter 2. Chapter 2 has been unlocked. Oh, Extra 1 has been unlocked. Continue the second chapter. Corpse Party Blood Covered Repeated Fear. Interesting. Chapter like Chapter 2 is unlocked. Extras Chapter A. Oh, Extra 1. Wait, what? There's like extra levels or something? Oh, these are probably stories of people who have died. Interesting. New. Well, eyeball. The heck is all this? End English chapter one. Yep. So ending chapter clear. Seiko hangs herself, leaving Naomi behind. Possessed by spirits, severed own tongue, attacked in the world by black mist. This one I saw is like you have to get a bunch of notes to you have to unlock notes somehow. Um but all right, that was a big hassle, all for chapter one. But um, thank you guys for watching that. I know this is a bit of a shorter episode because I'm gonna cut, yeah, because I'm gonna cut out a lot. But now we're gonna be back on full swing, and now I will be looking up the endings so I don't, excuse me, waste a bunch of time. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. So bye bye.